Hi, do you want to connect your Android phone up via Bluetooth to a VLOCK3 locator? Well, stay tuned. Hi, my name is Royce Kemp with NDEP Utility Solutions, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Android phone to a VLOCK3 locator. Here's a list of the VLOCK3 locators which the Bluetooth module is compatible with. The first thing you want to make sure of is that your VLOCK3 series receiver has a Bluetooth module. There are two different ways to determine if there is a Bluetooth module in your receiver. The first way is to look at the Bluetooth icon in the top right hand corner of the LCD. If the icon is black, then there is a Bluetooth module in the receiver. However, if it is gray, there is no Bluetooth module. If you have a hard time determining if the icon is black or gray, another way to check is by holding down the I button for two seconds. This will take you to the receiver's menu. Then by using the plus minus keys, scroll till you find about. Once you highlight it about, press the enter key, which also looks like an M key. This will take you to the screen that tells you all about your receiver. Once you are in about screen, use the plus minus keys to scroll up and down till you find Bluetooth module. If there is a Bluetooth module installed in your receiver, you will see a serial number. If not, it will say no module found. One last thing before you leave the menu. If you are pairing a VLOCK3 5000 or a VLOCK3 DM, scroll through the menu till you find GPS source. It should read Bluetooth. If it doesn't, press the enter key once to change the GPS source from internal to Bluetooth. Then press the I button once to go back to the locate screen. Once you've made sure you have a Bluetooth module installed, Make sure your Android's Bluetooth is turned on. You can do this by swapping down on the top menu and making sure that the Bluetooth icon is highlighted. Before we compare the phone and the receiver together, we need to download the free VM map application from the Play Store. VMM. A P. There it is. Open it up. Once the VM map application is downloaded, open up the application. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in. If this is your first time to use the VM map, you'll have to create an account by selecting no account yet, create one. You'll put in your name, your email, password, what region of the world you're in, company, serial number of the instruments you have. Read the terms and conditions and privacy policy and check the boxes if you agree and create an account. Once you have selected create account, it will take a few minutes and you will get an email from VM Map support team verifying your account. Once you've done that, go back to the application and you can log in with your email and the password you've created. So we're gonna log in, turn on the receiver and wait up to 30 seconds then go to the menu icon at the top left hand corner of your phone screen. Select settings, then select general, then look down till you find locate devices. If the device name and serial number you're using is not visible, select last connected. Then click Scan Devices. Once you see your locator's name and serial number you're wanting to use, tap the serial number.
the window will disappear and you should see connection succeeded. Then from the menu, select new track. Add a name and any observations you may see and then hit map. You should see that the Bluetooth icon has turned blue and you can also look at the top right hand corner of the receiver's LCD to see if the grayed Bluetooth icon is now blue. This is the indication that the phone and the receiver are now paired and you're on your way to start logging information. Hey, thanks for watching and click that like button if this video is helpful. Also in the comment, let us know what other videos that would be helpful for you. In the description below, you'll find a link to our website that you can learn more information about the VLOC3 locator, the Bluetooth module, and other products that we sell.